Hello, 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 everyone, and welcome back to Tooth and Scrubs Gaming. We are here with Meeple Station. This is our second episode. If you haven't watched the first episode, definitely go back and watch it. In that episode, we went ahead and built our space station, put everything in it, got our Meeples. You can see them there on the screen right now, those little guys with the white shirts. In this episode, we are going to get them assigned to some bedrooms, assign them some jobs, and get this station underway. So let's go ahead and get the clock rolling here, and we're going to start by assigning beds. And everyone gets their own bedroom. Now, you could have, if you wanted to, done a, a dormitory, um, dormitory um, room, but you don't get the, uh, the buff or the benefit of them having their own individual room. So I went ahead and assigned them all each their own room, and now we're going to go ahead and look at our meeples and uh, figure out what type of jobs they are. The important jobs for us to start out with will be miner, scientist, janitor, um, and probably a refiner and engineer. So the miner obviously is going to go out and mine from the asteroids. Engineers, the people that do our building. Refiners are our crafters. Scientists do research. And janitors keep things clean. Now as we progress, we'll have to assign other uh, meeples to other jobs. So it looks like Halibut, uh, he's got a pretty high scientist, so we're going to assign him to be our scientist. Toothbud, our hero and captain, high in mining. So I'm going to assign him to be our miner. Musk rat, decent in refinery. So we're going to assign him to refining. Scientist, and let's see what spare rib is good at. All right, I'm going to assign Marmalade as our janitor. So we've got a miner, a scientist, the refiner, and we need an engineer. So I think we're going to assign him to be the engineer. So we got that selected for our job, so they will uh, go ahead and start doing those tasks. Let's pick an asteroid to start mining. So we need ice uh, as our main thing. Uh, as well as we'll need iron and aluminum. So this only has iron and aluminum, and I accidentally already picked that. So we're going to on-cue that from the, the list for mining. Ice, iron ore, silica, ice, aluminum. So let's go ahead and get mine this asteroid here. So then Toothbud, you can see him right there. He's going outside, and he's going to go over to that asteroid, and he's going to start mining. Or it looks like he's coming back. And he'll take that, and then our refiner will refine it. And we can set up crafting if we want. So here this is, um, and this is also your stock. So we got 19 ice, so we need to make sure we start getting some ice. Uh, carbon is also important as well. Feldspar and magnite is turned into uh, iron ore and aluminum. And then you can see here's the other minerals you can obtain. Here's some of the more crafting things, like the battery cell, simple meals, fine meals, lavish meals, fish, coming out of the fish tank, and to craft that you need two fish and I'm gonna set that to infinite right now so I don't forget so as we start to get a cook online uh, we can start to make some simple meals uh, medicinal supplies medical plants fruits vegetables things like that so let's pick our research and we're gonna pick waste processing you see there's quite a few to pick from uh, waste processing will use the waste to produce biomass which we'll eventually need for growing plants on our space station so I'm gonna select that and our scientists will start to uh, do some research for us. So just to kind of review our station, down on the bottom floor, we kind of have more of our passive things. We have our um, rock crusher, which is gonna crush the ore we get from mining into something that can be refined. We also have our water production down here and storage for water, plus our air production and air storage. On the second floor, this is where our solar panel is and the batteries for the solar panel. We also have our refinery and smelter down here, which is where the uh, refiner will craft and smelt things. And then we have our research station, a little bit of storage down here. The third floor, we have our two bathrooms with the waste ejectors. You can see the poo. It's kind of a cool animation flying out into space. Hopefully it's not getting down on the solar panel, but if it is, someone will have to go out there and clean it up for us. You can also see some um, kind of waste mess is kind of building up on the floor. So our janitor will have to go out and clean that. And you can see they're kind of complaining about that. Um, here's our dining room with the vending machine, food dispenser, and then the kitchen with the um, fish tank for food. Right here's our docking clamp, so we're going to have to enable trade. So let's go ahead and enable trade. So now we'll have ships start to show up for us. 
and we can trade with them and they might bring us more meeples as well. Uh, and then this is the airlock with the suit rack next to it. So our meeples can go outside. And then on the fourth floor, we have six bedrooms. Uh, and then obviously we'll expand that as we get more meeples. On the left side of the screen, we have our Renown. Um, so as you get Renown, you can go up and, or excuse me, as you gain ranks, you can go up and Renown. Um, right now we're at the lowest because we really haven't done much, but as that goes up, we'll, we'll be able to move up in the world. We also have station credits, which is used for trade. These numbers over here kind of shows you the, um, the life systems of your station. So as you can see, we currently have 19,300 oxygen, uh, capacity for storage and we're keeping more or less of that stored you can see it dips a little bit as we release more out into the rooms and our rooms uh, are floating between 99 and 100 percent oxygenated so that's pretty good for us uh, we are producing 150 kilowatts of energy and looks like at any given time we're using between 15 and 20 of those we're not producing any advanced electricity we're not producing fuel we have capacity for 2400 liters of water and looks like we're floating around that pretty well. Our poo is not building up. We have 350 liters of storage and it looks like it hasn't gotten much above 10. And then our bottom number right there is the amount of air in all of our rooms. And we're again, staying at a pretty constant number. Some additional tabs on the left side of the, the screen is the map and it shows you we're around this planet. And then there's some other stations and other moons kind of floating around um, that we could eventually go visit uh, or have people come visit us from there are different factions we will run across as we are playing and then there's also different planets we can eventually go and visit and travel um so you can see like there's some debris floating around in space you know, that we will be able to salvage here's a really big planet with other stations looks like there's a station there some debris a station um so again we'll be able eventually to go travel and visit those on the next screen is our ships, but obviously we don't have any ships yet, so we can control our ships, we can send them other places to trade or raid pirate bases, things like that. Comms, we don't have a comm station yet, so we can't communicate. Meeples, we already looked at meeples, we looked at research, we looked at refining. Um, so it looks like we got a little bit of ice coming in, a little bit of carbon coming in. We've also built up a, a fair stockpile of aluminum ore, so I'm going to go ahead and set this to manufacture some aluminum ore for us for as well because we will need that to expand I'm gonna set that to infinite so we keep making it and then we've already looked at utilities and the build menu so that kind of covers all the menus um, and then obviously there's the um, main menu here there are some achievements I won't really worry about achieving all the achievements unless you guys want me to which if you do let me know um, so I got it playing at flash speed and we're going to keep going and building and expanding. That's our current objective in the campaign is just to grow our station. So hopefully we have a, a spaceship showing up here. Oh, speak of the devil. Here it comes. Crashing right through the meteor. So let's go ahead and click on this spaceship and see what they got. So they don't always have everything, so they won't buy it um, and vice versa. So they got some fish that I'm going to sell them some fish so we get a little bit of money in our station here. I'm going to sell them, yeah, we'll give them 20, oops, keep our medical supplies here. I'm going to sell them 25 fish and do I want to sell them anything else? No. All right. So we're going to get 92 uh, station credits and here's one of the factions, Vigorously Applied Sciences, VAS. Um, but we'll see some other of the faction as we're playing throughout the game. They do, I think, color code the ships. So we'll, we'll be able to do that. Now, the couple things I don't like about the game so far, I haven't found out, and this is probably on purpose, a way to rotate the screen. Probably has something to do with asset design, maybe. Um, I'm not sure because you can rotate objects. But I haven't found out a way how I can rotate the screen left, right. Um, I've hit R. I've done the arrow keys. I've done everything. Uh, and can't quite just figure out how to to get the screen to, screen to rotate. So if you guys know, let me know. and We can uh, rotate the screen and see the rest of our station. You can see we went up a little bit. We got a little bit more renown now. Uh, so we're moving up in the world. Let's check in and how our research is doing. We're at 34 out of 50, so that is chugging along beautifully. 
I think next we will get probably large container storage um, just because it's pretty easy to get and it's a short research um, and the, 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 the space the container takes up on the ground is the same whether it's a large or small, but the large uh, holds double the amount. So I want to get that pretty quickly because um, we do start running out of storage very fast. So it's important to have a lot of storage in this game. Uh, if you're like me that likes to hoard, um, as you can see, this is just only climbing. We've, you know, 91 aluminum already. We've got uh, 64 aluminum ore. So, and we'll need that a lot to expand. As you can see, you know, one tile of hall section is five aluminum. So to do uh, a lot of expanding, you need a lot of aluminum. We could also do it with steel if we wanted, um, but we even have less steel. You know, doors take a little bit of aluminum. You kind of look, aluminum is very popular. Um, so it's kind of important to have a lot of that aluminum around, but we will build that up as we go. Um, you know, research is going to unlock a lot of this. So you got reinforced halls, you got heavy halls, um, some more aesthetic carpets if we wanted to, to put some colored in the floor. Um, there are, I think, two levels of electricity. Uh, so you can get a fuel processor, or excuse me, the, um, uh, oh, maybe it's only two levels of electricity. The um, thorium reactor produces electricity as well. Let's look at this trade ship. Oh, see, we're making a lot of fish. So I'm going to keep selling fish because we need need that money. So I'm going to try and keep it at about 30 or so fish in our inventory. Um, just so now we, you know, we're doubling our money each time. And I'll close that out. And that was the same faction we saw earlier. So as you can see, there's um, you know drive so we can move our space station around, but we won't get to that for a while. Um, the thorium reactor... Uh, produces large amount of regular and advanced power, but as you can see, there's a lot of stuff we need for that. Um, and the richer will make make uh, make us our thorium 232 um, fuel processing, bigger batteries, a transformer, things like that. Furniture again, a lot of this is aesthetic. You know, a large container there, some plants, um, different beds, a medical table. Um, you know, some of this stuff we'll use a medical bed. Um, some aesthetic stuff, a basic foot locker that doesn't do anything, you know, that lamp that we had to delete because we needed the extra credits, things like that. Um, and then in modules, that's where a lot of the stuff is. You can get a larger vent to release more air. Uh, you can get an oxygen garden. There's the shield generator for the ship, the comms station, comms relay, teleporter so people can move around the station as our station grows um, so they don't have to, to walk, pillboxes for our guards. Um, you know, lab for faster research, waste processor. Um, so as, like I said, your waste builds up pretty quickly. Those ejectors can only eject so much. So between the waste processor, which we're, we're researching now, uh, which will produce biomass, which then we can use for um, growing plants, or we can sell biomass too, and it's actually a, a pretty good sale. Uh, and there's our hydroponics. So you can see we've got vegetables, which is the first one unlocked. And then there's fruits, so that's in the, the extravagant or um, lavish meal, excuse me. And then hydroponic medicinals. So we'll eventually get all that. Um, what else? I think we've kind of hit on everything. We've highlighted some of that. Uh, how are we doing on our research? Almost done. 49 out of 50. Here we go. The Hazmeep has landed. Everybody poops, Captain. You don't say. That is why waste management is essential to understand and why Hazmeeps are important members of your crew. Hazmeeps can work the waste processing machine to produce biomass, which is an essential component for botany. Hazmeeps are the only crew members equipped with environmental protection suits. Not only do the suits protect Hazmeeps from toxic hazards, but they do so while being in a lovely shade of periwinkle. And I do agree, it is a very lovely shade of periwinkle. Now that you're ready, we're going to send up our chief Hazmeep, Partridge. We are looking forward to having Partridge on the team. So that's why I went ahead and build, built that sixth bedroom. So we're already ready for him. So he's going to land. So we got the waste processor. Um, and we can select a new research. So let's close those out. And our, our goal is still to keep building our station. So I'm going to go ahead and do large container next. Click on that. So they start to research that. And we're going to assign Partridge to a room, so let's hop up to the fourth floor. Assign quarters, partridge, there you go. 
and then we're gonna go down to the second floor and we're gonna build our waste processor and we're gonna put that right yeah we can put that right there in the middle of the room so they're gonna go ahead and build that for us so we'll start processing some waste let's also start constructing some electronics and I'm actually gonna set the minimum um, I think I'm gonna set it at 20 so we always keep 20 in our inventory so we'll do that and then let's also make sure we're keeping our steel production up I'm gonna set that at 75 and we'll keep 75 in our inventory I'll keep aluminum at infinite so we keep processing that. Looks like we got some ice flowing in still, a little bit of carbon. It wouldn't hurt to get probably another miner here soon. So hopefully another meeple comes um, to our station. So let's go up to this trade ship. So this is a different faction. We got the Lukov Initiative. And what are they buying? They're buying a couple things. So let's sell them some more fish. There we go. And then let's buy, can I buy some carbon? Yeah, I'll buy a little carbon off them buy a little ice off them as well just so we have it uh feldspar no no aluminum no silicon no no, no. all right so i'm pretty happy with that like i said hopefully we start to get some meeples coming in um that can we can make some as miners we might move hmm since we're not really building anything right now, I'm gonna move Spare Rib over to a miner so he can kind of help collect us some more resources because we need plenty of resources to keep expanding. It probably won't hurt here soon to build another bedroom. Um, and I'm thinking we'll build it right here and just, as, just this fourth floor will be um, six bedrooms on each side and that'll be our main bedroom floor. We will have to expand this so we have a larger eating area. Uh, and like I said, as we get more meeples, we'll get a cook so we can have fi better meals so we can get that mood buff. Um, let's go back to the meeples page and you can kind of see on the right side, uh, we have their needs. So low stress, pretty high mood, pretty good on oxygen, hunger, hygiene, and stamina. Um, I don't know why my PowerPoint's opening. Sorry about that. Um, you know, and then on the right side, you also have an activity log and it kind of shows you the positives and negatives they've had. Um, so obviously if it's red, you know, need someone to talk to. So you couldn't find anyone to chat with. Um, and then the relationship shows them who they like, who they don't like. And each of them are a little bit different. You know, hygiene um, is affected by going to the bathroom, keeping the area clean, hunger, obviously eating. Oxygen should always be at 100%, hopefully. Stamina, sleeping, you know, mood is just kind of an overall happiness. See, he must have ate there. That's why his uh, his uh, hunger bar jumped up like that. So, so far, so good. We got another ship rolling in. Let's see what they've got. Let's sell them some more fish. I'm always going to try and keep about 30 fish in our inventory. Um, what else? Do I want to buy anything else? Aluminum we're doing pretty good on. Do, do, do. Yeah, I think we'll just sell them some fish. So this is the Pickle and Pickaxe Mining Company. And you got a little bit more money there. Our renown or infamy is uh, moving up. So that's a good sign. And I'm also going to, because I forgot to do it. So let's go down to the second floor. We didn't hook this up to power. So let's hook this up to power. Utilities, power, it should just hook up, right? Oh, wait, hold on. I want to cancel that. Uh, power. Delete that. Power. Hmm. I don't know why that's not working. If I'm doing that wrong, please let me know. Um, so we're going to put that power there, so that should hook it into the power system. So I will have to assign someone back to being an engineer. So let's go to spare rib really quick, and we're going to sign job engineer. So hopefully it goes and connects that. 
So then we can have our hazmeep partridge uh, start processing some of the waste, which then I need to turn on biomass. And we're gonna set that as in Bennett. Research, we're almost done with the large container. So that's doing good. Looks up, just completed that. Let's go ahead and unlock. Let's do basic botany so we can start growing some plants. All right, well, I think I'm going to go ahead and stop this video here. We got our station up and running in this video, so I'm quite happy about that. Nothing really fell apart, so that's good news. We did something right for once. Um, so I will see you guys in the next video where we will hopefully get our processor. Oh, looks like he's hooking up now. Get our processor hooked up, which he just finished, and we'll keep doing our research and expanding our station. Thank you so much for watching Tooth and Scrub Gaming, and I will see you next time. Bye.